An impressive performance on the all share index. The Naira um, not particularly strong. It has depreciated in recent days, although today we're seeing dollar weakness. How do you explain that? Uh, to start with, uh, the depreciation that we saw yesterday was essentially uh, on the back of rumors that the NNPC fund was not going to come into the system anymore. And then Central Bank coming up to uh, offer only $300 million to uh, at the W does. But uh, the, the trend changed after the result of the auction yesterday. Then we saw that the, the, the total demand was actually 350. And in addition to that, they were still able, as in a CBN window, still able to sell at the forward market another 120 million. And so in today's market, that really uh, brought a lot of calmness. Mm. And so yesterday we saw a high of 157.4, but today we actually uh, traded and uh, closed at 156.60. What else is going to lend support to the Naira going forward? I mean, um, ahead of the elections, there was a lot of dollar demand, but we're expecting that to wane going forward. We're seeing some FDI flows, but we've still got that one problem called inflation in Nigeria. Yeah, inflation remains a, a big threat. And uh, CBN is uh, coming to the reality that it is not only going to be solved by the monetary policies, it has to be other uh, measures to actually resolve the issue of uh, uh, inflation. But on the currency, the, the good part is that the uh, political system went smoothly, and uh, notwithstanding the uh, uh, violence that was experienced after mm. aftermath of the election. But then, generally, now we begin to see some foreign uh, uh, clients coming into Nigeria gradually. At the TB market yesterday, they were significant, and they were bringing in dollar. That is definitely going to strengthen the currency in weeks to come. All right, let's talk about what the CBN can do by way of the instruments at their disposal, monetary policy and interest rates. There's a general view that they're going to keep rates steady just by way of trying to stimulate lending within the real economy. Ultimately, even if the CBN takes that decision, are we likely to see the banks loosen the taps and really try to get credit flowing? In terms of the credit flow, I think uh, the banks have lent tremendously in the past years and so the the credit uh, uh, tap opening is not definitely going to be like what we have seen in the past here we are going to have due process going to be followed in terms of credit and in terms of risk and so they are actually going to be a real lending to the uh, real sector of mm. the economy as at moment definitely you still have that the tier ones uh, the blue chips, they still get a lot of funds from the banks, but the uh, small scale industries and individuals are the ones that actually having it uh, held time to get funds from the banks. So definitely you're going to see some uh, credit tap opening, but it's not going to be as open as probably going to be expected. But definitely there is going to be an improvement in terms of that. Now we've seen the Senate pass, finally pass the bill on the Sovereign Wealth Fund, which is meant to help Nigeria manage windfall earnings um, from oil. And with a higher oil price, there certainly will be windfall earnings. Will that ultimately help to um, stabilize the Naira? There are two things that we have to uh, get from the fact that the, what we have before now on, under the excess crude oil is more of an admin rather than uh, a legal or a constitutional uh, thing that was put in place. So now that the Senate have passed the bill, what we are going to see now is that with the oil high oil price, you're going to see that they're going to put the fund specially and it's going to definitely help in terms of our rating and that is also going to help the offshore and is going to definitely uh, help the currency. And then in terms of utilization of the, 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 the excess crude, it's not going to be like what you have before that uh, at any particular time the state governors can actually just come together and pressure the president and say let's share. Now there's going to be uh, uh, processes and procedures that are in place before such funds can be shared. And so definitely it's a, it's a good development for the Nigeria and for our reserves.